Sagittarius. So the message I was getting for you guys is shit hit the fan is what I'm getting or shit is about to hit the fan. I feel like you have gotten some information that you maybe have been looking for or this for some of you this could be completely random and out of the blue so yeah i feel like this is definitely something some information that did not make you very happy to find out about so for those of you interested in a personal reading go check out my website at swordstarot.com to look at my different readings options over there also be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com i have a lot of super cute stuff over there for you guys to check out so without further ado let's go ahead and just get into the video we do have the knight of pentacles the chariot card and the sun in the reverse so yeah something i feel like somebody's been keeping something to themselves for a long time now the sun card you could be dealing with a leo or a cancer with the chariot energy here but i do feel like there is something that someone has been holding on to for a minute and you're just now finding out about it or you're just maybe they just didn't tell you something about themselves or something we'll, we'll figure out what it is but i definitely feel that you have got some information that you're like oh my gosh i cannot believe this so we do have the five of swords energy here and the nine of swords so yeah you're a little fucked up about it or i mean of course this could be future energy coming in but the five of swords this makes you feel like somebody maybe has taken advantage of you or used you in some sort of way and the nine of swords this is saying that they are guilty of it and i do see you having a hard time kind of accepting that and just kind of getting through this situation i really feel that somebody has done something wrong here yeah six of swords i feel like you may even be contemplating walking away eight of cups at the bottom of the deck you you're just like you know what i mean should i just leave this situation should i walk away from this because i almost feel like this information is too much like just to forgive or too much to handle what is the energy surrounding sagittarius okay yeah the nine of pentacles in the reverse and the emperor in the reverse so the, okay so i feel like there's a lot of control here i feel like somebody wants a lot of control over a situation this could be a relationship the emperor in the reverse this is somebody that is extremely controlling um it definitely is having an issue not only getting their shit together but they feel like they need to control others as well the nine of pentacles somebody is not feeling confident about something or co like and this could be you not feeling confident about this situation that you're in whether this is a this feels like a relationship i will say that it feels like a relationship it feels like somebody is out of control here and you're just like okay i do not even i don't feel confident this is gonna work out so i feel like you are questioning right now i feel like you're questioning a lot of shit right now why is the knight of pentacles here yeah the judgment card deciding if somebody's even trustworthy or reliable anymore like after this information came out maybe they stole something from you five of pentacles energy like something whatever they did it is like i feel like it is too much for you to forgive like you're really on the fence about can i forgive this person we have the emperor coming out again um some of you guys can be done with an aries but the emperor card clarifying the chariot i feel like you're in the upright this one came out in the upright and i almost feel like you guys are in a way mirroring each other's energy but it's like this person's out of control this person here in the reverse it almost it almost feels like a power struggle almost maybe this person doesn't like that you're powerful or doesn't like that you are also this emperor energy you know could take care of yourself got your shit together possibly have your own business like i feel like you've got it together you're ready to move forward and be successful but it's like this person for some reason it, like they could be holding you back but i feel like they're just doing too much like they're literally telling me this person's doing way too much i feel like they don't care like how you feel or you know how whatever they're doing is going to affect you we do have the seven of wands energy here with the sun so i see you putting a wall up you're like you know i see you putting your guard up in this situation possibly some of you have maybe even blocked this person maybe you already have walked away from this eight of cups coming out again um you're walking away from this person some of you guys could be dealing with aquarius we have the star card here at the bottom of the deck okay so maybe someone got someone else pregnant we have the empress card here but yeah something is unforgivable i'll just tell you that so it is unforgivable i do feel like for some of you it could be someone else got someone pregnant why is the five of swords energy here whatever it is you're like not having it i see you not even really hesitating that much for some of you you're not even hesitating to walk away from this um i see you're like you know, you know what i'm done 
not about to do with this yeah the high reply even if this is a marriage or a long-term relationship you're like i'm not doing this anymore and i feel like you found out this person wasn't 100 percent, you know committed or faithful to this relationship considering whatever it is that they went and did um the truth is coming out and they hid it from you and i feel like that's what's really the thing here like if they had a child somewhere else empress card at the bottom of the deck again or if they went and got someone pregnant or whatever they lied to you about it four of pentacles in the reverse so you, yeah this relationship the stability is gone so i really feel that you are having no interest in continuing this relationship so we do have the six of swords clarifying that we have the six of cups some of you guys and i will say this i feel like there's there's two groups of you here maybe possibly dealing with a similar situation some of you guys are moving on and you're going to either one go back to an ex six of cups or you're going to go back to this person maybe you have walked away and you are going to go back to this person advice is not to do that the reason is because we have the three of swords right next to it this person is going to continue to fuck you over so let's say, say you moved on they're trying to get you back trying to offer shit to you whatever you're going to ultimately end up walking away again so don't waste your time with that do not go back to this person and for some of you you're going to move on to new love so let's clarify this ace of cups why is the ace of cups energy here okay yeah knight of cups so i like this energy i do feel like there's going to be an offer coming in could be from a water sign can't see scorpio this person has very good energy the knight of cups this is somebody that's very sweet very romantic it just feels like very cupcake phase type of shit so i feel like for those of you that do want to move on and move forward from this fucked up situation you do have good love coming in you know somebody that is genuine um that wants to pursue something real with you but for those of you that are going back to this situation don't do it it doesn't matter you know what you've got going on doesn't matter if you have kids with each other like i know it's a lot easier said than like actually done but it is going to result in heartbreak again so do not waste your time because i feel like this person they, they just want to keep you involved first like it, it's a control thing they just want to keep you here they want to control you they want to they want that but they they went and fucked up. They like they fucked up. I don't care what their excuses. I really feel that they could have went and had a baby on you. Whatever this is, this person fucked up. It's like it's something that bad. Like they went and stole or they something. I almost feel as well that they're like an opportunist. We do have the seven of swords and the fool, so it's like they're not gonna stop doing what they do because the second they get an opportunity to go do something that they want. Like, for example, say, you know, whatever, they get an opportunity to go cheat on you, they're going to take it. So it's like they can't, they can't control themselves. And it's interesting, somebody that wants to be in control so bad is very out of control themselves. So yeah, you don't want to be with this person because they, they, any opportunity they get that they want to take, they're going to take. So yeah, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, we do have the Page of Swords. So this kind of confirms me, the Page of, Page of Swords, this is, it could be bad news regarding a child. So I do feel that there's something going on with the kid here that you are going to find out about. That's, yeah. Un whatever this is, it's unforgivable. Also, the Page of Swords makes me feel like somebody could be watching you, possibly spying on you. Give me more on the Page of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Okay, this is, this is interesting. Could be somebody around you as well. The Three of Pentacles, this could be co-workers type of energy, but also just like peers and people around you. The King of Wands, this could be the person that is watching you or trying to keep tabs on you. Or maybe this person has other people trying to keep tabs on you. Maybe your friends, like, oh, have you seen her out? Or, you know, what's he doing or whatever. So yeah, clarifying the Emperor in the reverse, we have the Ace of Swords. So you're getting the truth about this shit. The Five of Wands, this whole relationship is literally going up in flames. I feel like this person has not only fucked you over, but I feel like they fucked a lot of people over. I think this is just what um, this person does, unfortunately. So do not, do not stay wrapped up in this shit. Universe, what is the overall advice for Sagittarius? Oh, okay, so that just popped in my head, sorry. <laughs> they, I don't feel... Okay, well, they could. I feel like they possibly could have went and had a child. But I do feel like this could be a child that they already had. Like, they already had this going on. The Five of Wands just came out twice in a row. They have pissed off a lot of people. Literally pissed off so many people. Like, they could have a whole family somewhere and maybe you didn't even know it. 
Like, yeah, the truth is really about to come out here. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of energy you wanting to lash out, maybe fight with other people, argue with other people. It's not even worth that advice is just to bounce out of this situation. This is weird. Like, I really feel like this is a theme for a lot of the readings. Like, there is a lot of endings and a lot of truth coming out at this time. Could have a lot to do with the Leo New Moon that just happened, but a lot of truth is coming out. So, like, it's time to go. Like, judgment has come out in, like, all my readings today. It is time to make a decision and it is time to bounce out of this situation because it's like, if you continue with this, like I said, it's just going to result in heartbreak and I almost feel like things will just get even worse if that's even possible. So I do hope that this reading is helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.